what we're looking for in a potato is uh, a shape issue. This one is what's called a lower range number one. It isn't quite pointed enough to be downgraded to a number two. So it's, it's a usable potato. Uh, these little spots on it are the eyes and uh, they are somewhat unique in that a potato is an above ground part of the plant that because it developed below ground became a storage organ. Had that potato emerged, so I can find the stem here, each of these petioles or little leaf branches would have come out of an eye. That's where the apical cells are that are able to do cell division. So this and this are botanically identical but different because of where they were growing. One above ground, one below. And uh, the stem end is here. This is where it attached to the plant via a stolen over to the stem. And this is what's called the flower end. And there are a cluster of eyes here. If we start at the base of that potato, this eye is the closest one to the stem end. And we go around two thirds of the way get to another eye, two-thirds more, another eye, two-thirds more, there should be an eye in here, right there, two-thirds more, another eye, and we can do that all the way to the, the flower end of that potato. It's a spiral, and the petioles come off the stem in the same fashion as a spiral, and uh, so these eyes on the end here are clustered because if this potato continues to grow, it grows on the flower end. It enlarges here. This part is old and doesn't get much larger except for cell enlargement. Cell division is occurring up here. So these eyes will start to unfold down the side of the tuber and become a little farther apart <coughs> as it goes toward more maturity. You want smooth potatoes um, because Quality is the name of the game in every facet of the potato industry. High quality will always sell and for a good return.